body is it you're looking for? We're more of the wandering eye type. Anything of interest you might be able to recommend? I can recommend all the things that I've got here. Finest scrap and salvage you'll find around. If it's words to the wise you're looking for, and it'll kind of look you up and down. But again, he's, he's a goblin, so it's kind of like looking you up and up. up. Then, let me tell you, out-of-towners should keep their crests far away from their figures. No idea. <laughs> it kind of gives you like a thieves camp, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Which part of me just wants to be a wink, wink, nudge, nudge, but for some reason people don't understand why. <laughs> if you know what I mean, Gross. wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Why are you wink, winking and nudge, nudging audibly at me? He doesn't get it. <laughs> Oh, he doesn't get it. But I'm assuming Samson gets what he's putting down. Uh, I, I assume he's saying just sort of like, try try not to stick your, try not to find yourself in anywhere you're not wanted. Basically, try and avoid the ten crests as best you can. Hey, we didn't do anything this time. This time. But between you and me, enough under over speak. If you're looking for stuff, I got cheap, I got expensive. If you want it, I probably drug, dug it out of some kind of dirt pile. Gives you a big old goblin smile and spreads his little hands across the table. I'm looking to assemble some tools of the uh, concussive kind. Ah, the big glowers you're looking for. The ones that rattle the ears, that sweet, sweet sulfurous smell. <laughs> And apparently, it sounds like you got the scrap to make it happen. And he'll look over his shoulder at one of the back piles under the canvas. It's like, well, yes and no. I found a nice fine cast of powder, but it was completely drenched. So, looking to let that dry a little. Unless you want something wet powder, but I'm not lower in a price just because it's a little drippy. What a great deal. Usually drip costs more. <laughs> I do know where you can get a lot more. I wrote supreme in it. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote supreme in the sand. The explosive sand. The <laughs> And also point you in the direction of where you can get drier stuff. Does me no good to try and hassle you. I'm only a few feet tall and I prefer less broken ribs. <laughs> Don't worry about that. You do right by me, but you got a friend in me. It'll look you up and up again, and it's like, Well, you seem to be the adventuring type. Perhaps I have some weapons, maybe some armaments you could use. And it'll go scrounging around through, through some parts, lay them out on the table. It's like, you never know when you're going to break apart. 
And I can assure you some of these are gonna fit just nice into those fine, fine pieces of yours. You're speaking my language. Let's see what you got. You want to roll an investigation table at advantage? Uh, investigation at advantage for his table? See everything that he's got laid out? Sure. I mean, he's got it laid out. I don't know if there's anything, like, hidden to check for. No. Well, the, there's stuff in the piles behind him. Ah. But, like, as for what he's already got laid out on the table... Damn! A lot Thanks, that. Advantage! Yeah... Advantage, uh... <laughs> advantage on abilities you're not good at? That, that, it, it's pretty hit or miss. I guess they never miss, huh? Fuck you. <laughs> I can't remember, does that add or is that just a new role? Uh, it's a new role that I can choose to use or not, so we're <laughs> gonna go with the 11. So you look over the table, I mean, it was a base 10, so you're good enough. Um, so you look over the table and you see, you start at what he just placed on, you see some, like, revolver hammers, a chamber or two. The parts have been well cleaned. You know, maybe there's a chip and a flake here or there. That one's, you know, definitely just forged on an anvil. Just black card and that one was machined. For parts that, you know, have been scavenged, it seems like care's been taken. You see a fancy ornate knife or two. Nothing, you know, wild. Certainly nothing Nim would ever carry on her person, but by Samson's standard, you know, Oh, that one's got a nice hardwood handle. It's been stained well, well used. A strip of a belt here or two. Maybe a, a well, not maybe. There's like a couple of cloth bags. Looks like they're good. Looks like they've been patched together. You know, it's mostly odds and ends. And as you see, mm. and as you see him, you kind of start to realize that this man's livelihood is literally just trying to repurpose junk, and that probably explains, as you spend more time and look at him, why his clothes are so tattered and old. He's probably barely keeping it together just to put food on the table. But as you're looking over, there is one thing that strikes you as odd. Towards the center of the table, kind of like propped up to be in your eye. Not in your eye, you, you get what I'm saying, right? Like yeah, to, ca to catch your eye. Is, um, is a small, looks like it could be metal, lidded teacup. But unlike everything else, it's dirty, it's got, you know, rust on it. They're, they're in another portion, it looks like it's got additional cake mass on it it's like it's just it doesn't fit nor does it belong it, it's it's still it is a dirty and b not exactly the scrap you're looking for or i'm looking for yeah that one i mean there's a couple of bits and bobs there's definitely some like old cookware that's been refurbished but that in particular is the only thing that you realize is dirty as if it was just placed there without a care. Hmm. hmm. So what's with the cup? This is very Indiana Jones. And he just looks Well, he looks straight at the cup because, you know, he's only butt so high. Oh, you're about to say he looks straight at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> that is just yeah. goes, and this is how you make the big deal. He's like, <laughs> this is how you become Ooh, a big thing. shot. Has this ever happened to you? <laughs> Time for you to be a big shot. Be a big, be a big shot. Hyperlink blocked. <laughs> oh, 
But no, he kind of just directs his attention to it. You just see his eyes roll in their sockets a little. It's like, oh, that thing. Uh, and then he just starts scratching his head. You know, I found it in a pile one day over by the docks. I have no idea what they were fishing out from that boat, but... I don't ask questions about the crest notes. There was that piece fallen, tilted over. Lid was still stuck on top of it. I figured, hey, look, a new teacup. Maybe I can actually enjoy a hot drink. But no, the lid won't come off. At first I thought it was metal, but it looks more like it's earthenware. So, go figure. I didn't want to damage it by rubbing it. Looks like it could probably crack if I squeezed it. So I tried giving it a soap bath. And it was clean. And I put it down. And I got busy. Came back and all of a sudden it was dirty. I swear this thing's a magnet for dust and grime. Does Nim still have that identification spell? Yeah. She should use it. Honestly, okay. I swear this thing's probably magic. I can't open it. I forgot I can do it once a day for free. <laughs> I, sw nice. I swear Good. it's probably so you don't magic. Explode. I've done everything so Oh, I have to touch it. <laughs> just walks up. Can I touch it? <laughs> it's kinda... dirty though. Let me just. <laughs> Hello, I would like to try to touch your new wares. That's what Sven says. How, how, how dirty is this ugly? I mean, this earthen pot. Hold on, can I just finish what he was saying first? Sure, go, go for it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I swear this thing is probably magic. I thought maybe it was a solid piece of earthenware when I couldn't remove the lid. So I tried to see, rattle it around. Didn't sound like anything. Tried to see if it would sink. Thing floats. Don't even ask me how that works. It's hollow, but there's nothing in it. There's a lid that won't come off and it's covered in dirt. Well, I can't afford an arcanist for them to run a check on it. For all I know, this thing's priceless. Every time I try and get somebody to take it off my hands, I'll be honest. They don't. I'd be happy to just get rid of it at this point. But everything I get, I have to make something off of. I'd sell it to you for ten shekels easy just to see it gone. <laughs> What's funny? <laughs> funny things. Now... And how much was that barrel of gunpowder you were looking to do away with? That? Well, a cask of gunpowder is... Well, it depends on the grade. I got lucky. About a few months back, that fell into the port and they didn't want to deal with it, so they just chucked it in the garbage. They figured the powder was spent. But if you dry it out for long enough, it actually is serviceable. Fine grade dust too, brown real small, burns nice. That I was hoping to maybe, I don't know, get a hundred out of? And not the... exactly like I could go to the reputable get and buy food, so you know how it is. A loaf of bread could cost me a hundred. Hmm. 
And of of like the like the, the scrap, because you said like there was like tableware and stuff. Is there anything like old teapots? Anything like round? What do you mean, like? So something that uh, essentially I'm looking for something that might be like used as like a makeshift casing for like um like a bomb. So I figured we got the gunpowder, Samson's got the rope, and he's got the oil. So he's got everything he could use to make a fuse and a bomb. He just needs a case to put it in. Uh, give me another investigation check on the piles. Pile check. We. Uh, can this one be an advantage too? Um, uh, let's ask the coin. Yes! The coin says Woo! yes. <sighs> Thanks, Advantage. Thanks, Advantage. Che? Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yay! Yay! Thanks, Che. Wow. Thanks, Che, Advantage. So at first you don't really see anything, and then you spy in one pile, like, an edit, uh... Not a net, a woven sack that just has like a couple of what looks like really old, rusty cast iron spheres. But just your luck, you can tell that they're kind of grenade casings. Even though there's no guarantee that outside of the ones that you can directly see in front of you, the rest are still intact. Mm hmm. you mind if I look over that, uh, the satchel he got there? Uh, and he kind of looks up and reaches above it and pulls out a leather satchel and dusts it off a little. This one? I, I mean, I was I was referring to the... Wait, did he pull the one with the, the, the casings? No, he pulled something above it. Oh. Uh, no, the one underneath it. But then, uh, oh, this casing. you reckon in there? Uh, he kind of shakes it around and kind of looks through the mesh. Well, there's one of them that's broken. I don't think I have the other parts. Uh, let's see. Uh, one. Two. Uh, yes. There's about eight in here that aren't broken. A little bit of love and care, you'll probably get the rust off. Can't promise the threadings work. So they use the gunpowder and the fun a little teacup and we'll call it 120. Maybe just a hundred flat. Samson's gonna try to haggle. Well, you're the first person in three years who's wanted to take that blasted cup, so if I'm making any money out of this, then that's fine. Sleep at night. But that cask is easily pretty expensive. I am willing to part with it for a hundred, but getting rid of casing still? Yeah. 125. Hmm. Uh, 
125. Happy day, happy day. A clean meal and maybe some hot water. You're an angel, son. You're an angel. And he's going to reach up a little goblin hand with spiky little nails. And Samson will shake on it. And shake you have. He'll set the uh, casings on the table and run back and pull out the barrel. And the outside looks dry, but he did tell you he's been drying it for a while. So you mm -hmm. imagine inside, the, the powder is probably still a little damp. Samson thinks Sam Nim could probably dry it. Does yeah. water go burr? Yeah, yeah. yeah Nim, that... Uh, person who could just make water evaporate. Yeah. Uh -huh. That person who's been here this whole time <laughs> and was trying no, to do something but wasn't allowed to. <laughs> well, now we got the teacup. <laughs> Samson's gonna immediately hand it to, to Nim. How dirty is it? I thought you were about to say how dare you. <laughs> how dare you. It's, it's <laughs> filthy. I clean it first. I, Nim, Nim's not. But then... Vin is also not touching this. Vin would touch it. How do you know? You've never met Vin. I, I know Vin Mo. Vin Mo and Vin are not the same. That's crazy. Why not? I... <laughs> Because Venmo has two complicated standards. Vin is down to earth and just his nickname. You guys are friends. You get to call them Vin. Damn, we're in a we're in an elite club. The Vin club. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then then I, I de identify. Identify the dirty cup. Yeah. Well, the clean cup. dirty cup. Yeah. Oh, you pressed it. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. You do this right in front of the stall? Uh, are we still standing right in front of the stall? Do we want to step away? You can step away with it. Yeah. yeah. We'll go stand in the corner, I guess. So you clean the little cup and it's a little earthenware cup. Uh-huh. And you cast Identify. And as you do, you get overwhelmed with magic. Roll on the wild magic table. Don't you Shit. fucking crawl. <laughs> Hold on. Oh. Oh, no. No, that's... No, I, I think he meant the D100. No. It is the D100. No, she that wild surge. A... Oh. Oh. She's doing That's it right. Twenty. Oh wait, wait oh, what? Oh fuck. Yeah, oh. wild search. Roll you said the... wild magic table. I fireballed. I, I misspoke. I... Oh no. Yeah, are you fired. kidding me? No, I'm serious. No. I fireballed. <laughs> <laughs> How far away did you get? Would you guys have stepped Not away? Not even twenty feet. All right. Well. Uh... How big is the fireball again? Twenty foot 20 radius. Twenty foot radius. I should have gone home. <laughs> I should have stayed home today. I really thought about just having them go to sleep. I really did. <laughs> if I sound panic, it's because I'm laughing. <laughs> oh man! Hold on. I have I have the thing for roll, roll the damage. No, I have I. What is it? Is it a plus full or fitness? It's third level. So it's fine. Man, this guy's just gonna be like, oh, it's cursed! Yeah, we'll just, we just blame the cup. Yeah! <laughs> we just put at him and go, you, you gave us a cursed item! He's selling cursed items! Cops, take them away! I have resistance, cause cold one no damage 
Damn, man. Calm down. 34. Do that. Anyway, do more for other people. Before the oh, fireball. actually. Go on. Do I want to do less damage? I could do less damage. No, I can't. I can't alter wild magic stuff. Continue. Anyway, y you get a split second of, oh, shit, as you feel your wild magic start to surge. And then you just feel a hand nice. on your shoulder and you hear a familiar voice. Hey there, kiddo, what'd you find? And you just in the corner of your ear, you hear, like, the sizzling, and you look down out of the corner of your eyes, and you just see Zanzibar's hand is, you know, slightly charred. His free hand, the hand that's hanging next to you. And he'll just mutter it quietly in the air, don't worry about it, just act normal. So, what's this, kiddo? Okay. I feel like you realize you don't realize how often this happens. I'm always normal. This is my normal. <laughs> <laughs> this is my default. Excuse you. Is that a but, but I take it, is Zanzibar. That or are you saying that? That's me saying. Oh, good. I, I, I take it, Zanzibar uh, doodad the, the fireball away. Pretty much, yeah. Boo! Boo! <laughs> I... <laughs> Huge huh. boo! <laughs> Boom! What's happening? So, uh, does that reset my counter? Mm-hmm. Nice! Can we reset? It wasn't very high. Um, did I take the spell slot? I did. Wait, what spell slot? Oh, I didn't. Uh, I just rolled on, like, with my spells instead of just hitting don't use spell points. Ah. So I had to give them back. Okay. Um. <laughs> so what is it? Lots of magic. Sorry, I have chili. Ooh. Is it cold or warm? Uh, hot. Would you eat cold chili? Oh, because oh, it'd be chili chili. Yeah, chili chili. Have chili chili. I oh, understand. shit, I have food. <laughs> wow. I'll be right back. Don't blow up without me. Too late. No, you blew up with him. Not the first time. You know what, that's fair. I'm gonna wait for him to come back. Cup go bird. I'm back. Welcome back. Thank you. So, what item? Well, you can tell it's not anything that any normal mortal has created. In fact, it doesn't seem like it ever was created. But you do get a feeling that you should probably elbow grease it. You don't really know why. But when you look back at the cup, you're very disappointed because it's filthy. Disgusting. Are Nim's hands dirty from touching this? Only where the cup is touching your hand. That's fine for now. We can address that in a second. Um, you know, a really morbid part of me is like, I could wipe this on Hiala's fur. Damn. But I won't, because that'd be mean. But if Nim were a little gremlin child. Which she is, when she is has not. to be. Nim also loves Kellen, wouldn't do that. Uh, by elbow grease, would he like actual grease or <laughs> cast grease on it? I actually kind of could. 
I mean, the, fine. If the, I can't clean it, I will make it dirtier. I mean, I mean the literal turn of phrase: elbow grease to clean. Like Nim, Nim gets the feeling that precipitation will cut it. Yes. Gross. All right, but does Nim know what? it is or what magic is afflicting it. Do you need me to pull up uh, identify again? No, I could scroll up. So the only other things you get out of identifying the object is it almost feels like a living entity, but there's no other kind of magic affecting it. It is just magic as itself is magic. Okay, hold on one second. Sorry, I just had to look up something. While this is happening, what are what are Kiel and Samson doing? Yeah, what the Kiel and Samson? <laughs> Read chat, nerds. I did, but now you have the opportunity to say the words. This is tricks. I'm reading. Oh. Nim has named the pot tricks. It's not your pot, the name. Shut up, Nim named it tricks. <laughs> it's not even a pot, it's a cup. So you get your pots right. You called it a pot yeah, first. You, you called it a pot <laughs> first. You believed me. I didn't believe you, I just used your word. Nah. Point is, whatever it is in Nim's hands, it's sullying Nim's hands. It's tricks. Yeah. Well, you paid your goblin friend for the stuff, right? Oh, yeah. Um, actually, I wanted to do a thing. Um... Can I do a sleight of hand check to leave a, like, a piece of a ration with the money, but sort of out of sight so he wouldn't see it until, like, after we left? Uh, sure. Roll a sleight of hand. We... DC oh, no. Whatever will he do? Woo! Woo! You leave one ration? Yeah. Samson J. Angel Maker. And that was 125 we agreed on? Yeah. $125 shekels. So. Alright. And how much is the... How, how big is the barrel? 
Um. It's not overly big. It's not like it was too large for him to carry. I'd say it's about two feet long, uh, one foot tall. Oh, less, actually. Because I can't measure with my hands for shit. It's like one foot long by eight inches tall. How I visualize it. Okay. I don't know uh, by volume how many like pounds of powder that would be, but I mean, it's a sizable keg of powder that you usually use like what? A teaspoon, a tablespoon of powder to fill a cartridge with? Mm-hmm. So, if Samson's making bullets out of it, it's easily gotta be a few hundred, if not a thousand rounds of ammunition. We. If that gives you an idea. Gives you ideas! Ideas. So who's doing what, where, and why? Um, I, I I guess like immediately after he pay, but before he goes to ask, um, or gets to leave, he'd be like, "Do you know anyone who might have uh, anything that I could use with these casing?" He'd understand. I have no idea what you're talking about. He's looking for bomb making supplies. <laughs> Don't you have the bomb making supplies? You have the casings, the powder. The, yeah, but the... that powder is good for making bullets, like a lot of bullets, but a vastly small amount of bomb. Uh. I suppose you're right. Um, what was the question again? My brain froze. Uh, uh, basically, if he knows any place to get, like, more bomb-making stuff. Or anyone, really. And, uh, the tips of his ears will kind of twitch a little and he'll rock his head from side to side. Well, uh, yes. Yes, but at your own risk. Go down that way about 200 paces. Real nasty looking guy. Only has one eye left. He's got plenty of powder, but he doesn't display it. It's one of those, and he'll kind of, thieves can't, signal like it's an under table kind of deal mm -hmm. but and he'll just meet you dead in the eye crest he's a crest tread lightly friend don't make trouble with the crests thank you for the goods and the advice Stay safe and watch your back. And he'll he'll, he'll nod and carry off with the stuff. Yeah, 
Daniela, nothing you might be interested in? Also eating, maybe? Ah, halotyped. Typo from the healer. So, then, then uh, Samson will be following the, the directions given to him. It's like, and then also, oh, Zanzibar! When'd you get here? Oh, well, I was just walking this way. And he'll just kind of like direct them shoulder towards Samson's like, saw you kids and figured I'd say hi. You know, bumping into each other like this. Serendipity. We've only been apart from like, for like eight minutes. <laughs> you just see him close his eyes and take a deep breath, and then you just hear in between your ears, in between your ears, and inside your brain. The girl almost wild surged on that item you picked up. I came to save you all from exploding! Oh, that'd be bad. Yes, it would! I really have to teach you double speed. Teach him what? Double speak. Funny because we're talking about thieves' games. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a method to the madness. But anyway, then Zanzibar will go back to actually speaking. Well, eight minutes. I would have thought we would have been farther apart from each other, you know? Yes. Anyway, have fun, stay safe. And he'll start walking back in the other direction. The poor little goblin is kind of like looking between both parties and he's just like looking a little confused like what? What just happened? That wasn't Thieves Camp. The fuck? So you said Samson was gonna then walk? Uh, yeah, he'll, he'll check out the, 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 the powder ganger. And then he's just walking around with the dirty little coat? Tricks, but yes. <laughs> just imagining she's holding it out in one hand, like, ew, ew, ew. No, that would be weird. Don't so, name find anything interesting about it? I think it's alive. That. Cool. <laughs> hey, it's and then Samson's gonna look over at Yala <laughs> with like a like a big ol' excited face. Eee. Uh, he, he, uh, Nim said that the cup might be alive, and Samson pogs, and then looks at Yala while pogging. And he said, that's cool. 
Because I don't know what it's called. I started calling it Tricks. Because it's got oh. Tricks up its sleeve. I think. Huh. So are you going to hold on to it, or do you want to give back to me? Well, no need for both of us to get our hands dirty. That's true. That's a little stranger volunteering to get yours. Well, for some reason, it seems like you have to actually clean this magic isn't. Which is rude, but whatever. <laughs> Not magical. Sounds like it's my cup of tea. I see what you did there, you bastard. Is that a joke? Perish 1,000 years. Okay, what, what, how many dice is that? Uh, 1,000. Okay. Ah, so Jade's full dice collection. I understand. What? That's only like a fraction of it. Yeah, you're right. I'm thinking of last year's numbers. Mm-hmm. Those are rookie numbers. Exactly. But if you want to hold on to it, I won't stop you. Hmm. I, I just put it. it in my pocket. Hmm. Then we'll take it out and hand it to you. Cast precipitation to clean her hands and pocket. Samson will put it. Um. Nope. Like. Put it. Not in the bag of holding, but in like. Eh, he'll just put it in his pocket. Dirty little cup goes in the pocket. It's now a dirty pocket. Samson's got a dirty pocket. Alright. I gotta stop saying those two words together. They do not sound right. So, we head to uh, the Cyclops Man. Yeah. Do we find him? Uh, roll investigation. If, if, if I give Hyala the description, she helped me look for him. Sure. She was standing yeah. right there. Yeah, I was about to say, Perfect. we weren't like 30 feet back. <laughs> we were right behind Samson. We were in the scene, despite y'all's best efforts. I was not, <laughs> not trying to keep you efforts. out of the scene. Was not my intention. Let's not act like it was. I even tried to get you into the scene, and you said, oh, you can do your thing first. Well, that's a new scene. Wait. Anyway, uh, Hella, do the searching, please. Por favor. Yeah. Which one? Uh, and which one is investigation, it? Investigation, give me a 14. Yay. Congratulations. Woo. You believe it to be that man, and you point at him. That man there. For Samson to see. Wow, I see him with both my eyes. A big, burly, savage looking uh, human male. And he's just standing there, eye patch over his eye at a butcher stall. It was over. Yeah. Uh huh. Anybody talk first? Uh, yeah. Samson will talk to him again with the, with with these can't be yeah, like. Hey there. Word around says you might be a bender for some black powder. And he'll just stop fiddling with whatever sausage links he was hanging on the hook. 
and he'll just look to the left, look to the right, and then lean very close to you. And he's got like a good foot on Samson's height. He just... Didn't say that was in Thieves' Camp, right? Yes. Okay. He's like, Boy, you do know what you're asking for, right? I do. You, right? <laughs> I'm all well to do business for you. But just because you talk in the double fancy speak doesn't mean that the floor, the eyes, and every single ass cheek from here to the port doesn't have its own set of ears. Get in the shop and wait. Then I'll just point over to the shop next door. And, and, and Samson will. And he will gesture for the others to do the same. What if we want some meat? Freshly butchered. <laughs> so you get... So you come into the storefront and... You know, it, it's... It's a real rustic kind of butcher shop. There is very normal looking meat. And then you can see on like racks in the back, there are things that you don't know what they could have come from. Strange looking meats. Yellows, greens, sometimes pinks. Not your average pink raw meat, like like neon pink. <laughs> Exotic. <laughs> After about 10 minutes, he'll walk in, you know, cleaning his hands and his apron. And he's like, all right, come on, in the back. And he'll slide behind the counter, gesturing for you to come on. And I'm assuming you three follow in turn. Mm-hmm. And he'll walk, you'll walk through the freezer and you'll see even stranger things that haven't been butchered yet strange creatures you haven't seen and as you get towards the real far back that's <laughs> when shit starts getting uncomfortable because you see on some can... hooks you're gonna say something oh i was gonna say can i, can I try to like can, can, can i make an effort to remember the strange creatures um very interesting question because normally if we were talking about this in the future I'd have you roll a history check but there's not exactly a memorize in D&D to memorize something well if I try to memorize it now could I get advantage on the history to recall it later I think that's fair yeah woo but as you get to like the real way back of the freezer section as you see, he's going to a pair of double doors. That's when things start to get a little uncomfortable. Because you see on a few hooks in the back, and you, your heart kind of drops a little. There's some dragonborn hanging from hooks. Throat slit, bled out. Just waiting to be who knows what. You don't know if they, they're intended for food or if... A couple of dragonborns did something unsafe and don't wanna know. Exactly. <laughs> you can't help but hear the go your goblin friend's words in the in the back of your head. But he opens the double doors and all of a sudden it's not a butcher shop. It's a powder operation. I thought you were gonna say it's a baker's. <laughs> Oh, because oh, then he'd take us through the bakery and then it'd be a candlestick maker. Oh, God 